iPad enthusiasts, welcome back to our channel, Fast Cabling. So are you experiencing mysterious power issues with your network devices? It might be a case of non-standard PoE causing havoc in your setup. So in today's video, we'll delve deep into the world of 24V, 48V passive PoE and unveiling the issues that you need to know to keep your network running smoothly. So power over Ethernet has emerged as a transformative technology, revolutionizing the way we power and connect devices in the digital era. And PoE enables the simultaneous transmission of data and electrical power over a single Ethernet cable, simplifying installations and providing a versatile solution for various applications. So PoE comes in different variation, with 24V and 48V configuration being the most common. And the choice between this voltage option depends on the factor such as the power requirement of the connected devices and the distance of cable run. So understanding this variation is crucial for optimizing PoE setup. Moreover, as non-standard PoE implementation exists, it becomes increasingly important to grasp the intricacies of these unconventional configurations. So standard PoE, defined by IEEE 802.3 AF, 802.3 AT and 802.3 BT standard adheres to established industrial specification for power delivery over Ethernet cables. And this standard ensures interoperability between the compliant devices, providing a regulated and universally accepted method for transmitting power and data simultaneously. In contrast, non-standard PoE such as 24V, 48V passive PoE operate outside these established norms. And while widely used in certain applications, non-standard PoE lacks the universal compatibility and regulation of its standard counterpart. And differences in power delivery method and voltage level distinguish standard and non-standard PoE. Standard PoE ensuring consistent and safe power delivery, where non-standard PoE might use varying voltage level, potentially leading to the need for meticulous attention to device compatibility during deployment. So non-standard PoE system present a range of common problems that can impact network performance and device integrity. One significant challenges lie in power delivery inconsistencies. Non-standard PoE may result in varying voltage level, leading to uneven power distribution and adversely affecting the performance of connected devices. Compatibility issues are another concern, particularly when you using non-standard PoE with devices designed for standard PoE. This mismatch can lead to compatibility problem, hinder functionality, and compromise the overall reliability of the network. Additionally, the absence of industrial-wide standard in non-standard PoE implementation further exacerbates these issues, as there is no universally accepted framework to ensure interoperability, and there also the risk of potential damage to devices, particularly due to over-voltage. Non-standard PoE configuration might expose sensitive electronic to higher than expected voltage, posing a threat to the integrity of connected devices. And voltage drop issues stemming from the lack of standardized specification can further compound these challenges, impacting the efficiency and stability of non-standard PoE setup. Addressing this problem requires careful consideration of compatibility, adherence to voltage standard, and thorough planning to mitigate potential risk associated with non-standard PoE implementations. 
And avoiding issues associated with non-standard PoE involves strategic considerations. Firstly, prioritize standardization and compliance by strictly adhering to industrial standard. This commitment ensures that PoE implementation are universally compatible and adhere to recognized safety protocol. Additionally, when choosing PoE equipment, offer reputable and certified devices that align with standard specification. Selecting equipment from reliable manufacturers help mitigate the risk of inconsistency and voltage variation commonly associated with non-PoE standard configuration. And by embracing industrial standard and making informed choices in equipment selection, business and network administrators can establish a robust and reliable PoE infrastructure that minimizes compatibility issues, enhances safety, and optimizes overall network performance. So if you want to apply standard PoE standard to install, for example, the TP-Link EAP-225 wireless access point over 100 meters and has compatibility issues, you can watch our other video on here on why a PoE standard doesn't work with your PoE wireless access point. You can also visit our website now for a cutting-edge solution that streamlines your network, enhance connectivity, and address your technological needs, and explore the latest innovation and discover how our tech solution can elevate your digital landscape. Just click explore and transform your tech journey with us and thank you very much for joining us and i'll see you in the next video